With just 25 days until Election Day, Americans across 42 states are already casting their votes early, either by mail or in person. The stakes in this election couldn't be higher. Later on, we'll dive deeper into a conversation I had with my colleague Rachel Maddow about the very real threats to our democracy. But first, let's examine how both presidential candidates are navigating these crucial final weeks of their campaigns. Both Kamala Harris and Donald Trump are vigorously campaigning. Kamala Harris wrapped up a week-long media blitz with a Univision town hall, while Donald Trump held a rally in Aurora, Colorado. The contrast between their views on immigration is stark. Trump is focused on border security, reviving his tough stance on illegal immigration. Harris, on the other hand, is advocating for a more humane, orderly path to citizenship. This stark difference highlights the broader contrast in this election. The Democrats have called in reinforcements for the final stretch. Bill Clinton is touring the South, hitting key states like Georgia and North Carolina. Meanwhile, Barack Obama, who headlined an event in Pittsburgh last night, is making multiple appearances for the Harris campaign. His message is clear, he understands the frustration among voters but warns against trusting Trump to shake things up in a positive way, especially given his track record of lies and disregard for the Constitution. Obama passionately urged people not to stay on the sidelines. Whether voters feel excited, anxious, or frustrated, the message was simple. Get out and vote. This rallying cry is crucial for Kamala Harris, as Democrats still need to boost turnout among key voter groups, including African Americans. Obama specifically addressed this issue, especially the lagging support from black men, which is lower than it was for Biden in 2020. The conversation shifted to the idea of masculinity in this election. On one side, there's Trump's toxic masculinity persona, all about bravado and domination. On the other side, Harris represents a more tender, multifaceted version of leadership, one that values equality and human decency. This dichotomy will play a big role in how voters, especially black men, make their decision in the coming weeks. Bill Clinton is set to continue his support for Harris in the South, while the Republican side remains notably absent of big-name endorsements. Even George W. Bush and Trump's own wife, Melania, are staying on the sidelines. As we inch closer to Election Day, the differences between the two candidates couldn't be clearer. Whether it's immigration policy or leadership style, voters have a lot to consider. No matter where you stand, now is the time to make your voice heard. Vote, because this election will shape the future of America.